Alright, so we're back there. The next person I'm bringing up, we're back there chatting a little bit. Let's not ever, you know, we're all out there working and we talk about intensity and passion and pushing ahead. And we're all on our own journey, right? But let's not ever forget having fun on the journey. And, uh, you know, it was interesting. Kim had texted me a couple of weeks ago and said, Man, who is this guy? He's just on the ball. He's fired up. Super Mario. Who is Super Mario? Who is this guy? And, you? Uh, Kim had sent me a message. Dallin's probably going, Oh, I can't believe he's bringing this up. <laughs> Kim had sent me a message and he said, Who is this guy? Where is he from? Who is he? And I said, Well, I said, I sent a message about you, and he responded and said, who is that? So this, this is kind of an interesting banter back and forth, right? So we've had a little competitive banter back and forth, so we were just backstage, and Mario said, maybe I'm going to come out and tell Kim that I was so busy working, I didn't have time to put together my slideshow. <laughs> Here's my point. Let's have some fun competitive. It's good to be competitive in this company. And I think as a country, a lot of us, everybody gets the trophy, right? No, everybody doesn't get the trophy. You need to work hard and go through the tough times and grow, and then eventually you get the trophy, the trophy diamond or wherever you choose it to be. With that said, Kim has done an incredible job, Mary's done an incredible job. Mario came in here, went emerald in three weeks. Woo! Yeah! 30,400 volume his third week in emerald. And uh, head down, focused down when I met with him. We were very impressed with his professionalism, with who he is as a person. Yeah. He's got an amazing wife, Stephanie, who I heard was very scared and nervous to get up here. Stephanie, do you want to come up? <laughs> <laughs> He's an incredible job. Anyway, in a short period of time, passionate, excited, professional, and here to share with you guys why we choose Viseo as a home. We looked at a number of different companies. Why Viseo? Please give a warm welcome to Emerald, Mario Del Yeah! Good morning, everyone. I'm so blessed and honored to be here with you guys this morning. Um, Super Mario, that's... <laughs> so true story is I spent my entire elementary school life wanting to punch people who call me Super Mario. <laughs> Actually, it was like, hey, Mario, where's Luigi? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's original. <laughs> but anyhow, look at what God does. Doesn't he know God has a personality that your sense of humor. Uh, before I get started, though, there's a, there's a couple people that I need to thank. First and foremost, uh, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, uh, because without him, I'm absolutely nothing. Uh, number two, my beautiful wife, Stephanie, uh, 15 years. Love you so much. Uh, Dallin, Carrie, the founders, you guys are incredible. Ricky and Francois, I love you guys. And uh, my team, the movement. <laughs> So, uh, real quick, I'll just share with you my backstory so uh, we're not complete strangers. Um, you know, I was not raised by entrepreneurs. I was raised to go to college, get your degree, go into corporate America, and uh, make a life for your family. So that's what I did. Uh, by the time I was 24 years old, I was a six figure earner, 27, bought my first home, married, five series BMW, golf on Fridays. I think I can beat you. So, uh, no, my buddy needs to over here to tell you off, and that's not true. <laughs> um, and, you know, just doing life. And uh, one Tuesday morning, I get a call, and I, I had to meet my, my senior director, and I got laid off. And so I don't know if any of you guys have ever been in that situation, but when you're a sole provider, you've got a mortgage and a bunch of little babies looking at you, it's a scary place to be. And so for the very first time, I became open. And a cousin of mine called me, and he said, hey, you know, what are you doing? I think we can figure out a way to get rich. And I was like, well, I'm wearing basketball shorts. It's Tuesday. I'm watching one of the judge shows. So, yeah, I'm open. What do you got? <laughs> and uh, I showed up at a meeting, and it was a thing, right? Everybody's wearing suits, and they're high-fiving, and it's like a club. And I'm like, oh, man, you brought me to a thing, right? But I was, I was open for the first time because, you know, when your circumstances change, so does your perspective. And uh, what I did, guys, is I found love with freedom. Because for about six months, uh, you know, I didn't have a job. I was just looking for uh, some way to, to change things up. I didn't want to go back into corporate uh, because, you know, I look, look what that got me. Uh, and I found love with freedom. And if any of you guys follow me on any of my social media tags, it's freedom fighter, right? Because to me, I, I don't like 
I'm not necessarily someone who's motivated by money, okay? You're like, but wait a minute, look at you have no socks on, and you're wearing a nice watch. But that's just because my wife, she dresses me, okay? For me, I am more focused on freedom, okay? And I'm gonna talk to you guys about that because it's one of the number one reasons why I came here. Um, so I got started in the networking industry. Over the last 10 years, we've had a lot of success. Um, God has really blessed us. And I think the only gift that I have is two things. Number one is I know how to find a unicorn. Okay, I'm gonna show you what that is, right? The second thing is, is I just love to work. Anybody work hard in here? Yeah. Please come see me, because I wanna, I wanna compete with you. Uh -huh. I just love to work, okay? And that's one of the things that, um, you know, I, I love eight to faint. How many of you guys work eight to faint? Yeah. Right? Um, it's actually 10 now on my wife's orders. So I had to go to the gym for a little while and I got to do some other stuff, but it's, it's 10 to 15 now, okay? Um, but when I, when I took a look at the sale, um, I was blessed uh, through John Lewis. Where's John? Where's John? Where's he John? There he is. John. Uh, John was, you guys want to talk about fortunes in the follow-up, okay? Uh, John was, was on a team of mine a couple of years back, and, and I think John's like, the 22 year old office manager in my life. Um, but you know, just kept, kept talking to me and just, you know, we just built a relationship. And uh, one day he called me and he said, Hey, I just want to introduce you to Ricky and Francois. And you know, as, as a networker, you know, the most valuable thing you can, you can have is someone's phone number. <laughs> so I was like, Of course, let's have a talk. And got on the phone and we just clicked. And he immediately, Dallin jumps on the phone and just clicked. And, uh, and then Dallin said, hey, why don't you come on out to the house and can we talk? And, uh, and honestly, guys, it was just all over. It, it really was. Uh, to me, Dallin and Carrie, Carrie came in real quick. She just got back from the gym. And so my wife's a lifter too, so I know that I can, right? So, uh, but to be able to meet these folks and to, to feel their heart, the genuine, uh, you know, this about what they do and, and what their purpose was, it was really resonating with me. But, but I'm also a businessman. And so I wanted to ask the tough questions. You know, I wanted to know what makes this company different. I wanted to know what can make this company go viral. And when it can go viral, can we support it? Because how many of you guys have ever been in a company where you have too many people coming in and you can't help them? Mm -hmm. Okay? Good Some point. of you guys are like, I want to know what that's like. <laughs> but it's a real problem. It's a real problem when you have too many people coming and they're excited and they're jacked out of their mind, but the product's not coming or the checks aren't there on time. And so we wanted to make sure, my wife and I, that, that this was not only going to be a solid company, but it had sizzle, okay? And so, uh, so why did I choose the sale? Well, first off, God did. Um, I met with a lot of companies and I spoke to a lot of people. And one day I woke up and, and, and I said, I looked at my wife, she was in sleep, and I tapped her, and I said, it's for sale. She said, really? How, how do you know? I said, God just told me. She said, okay. It's Amen. Called, called Ricky, and uh, if you guys want to hear how God orchestrated all this, come ask Ricky, because the same day God spoke to him, but he was in Cancun, right? And uh, I gave him a call the same day. So it's just crazy how that works. <laughs> um, but why I chose this company is because it's a unicorn. What is a unicorn? So from after, after this talk, I want you guys to just start hash, hashtagging unicorn, unicorn, unicorn. Because it's something that you don't see very often. See, how many of you guys are here to just make some money? Like, just a, just a little bit. Anybody? Please don't put your hands up, okay? Sorry. Sorry. I want you guys to make life-changing income. Life-changing. I'm talking seven-figure income. And with what? The leadership team has already put together what they've already accomplished in their career and what they put in front of us. Every single one of you has an opportunity this morning to, to override hundreds of thousands of people over the next two to three years. Yeah. Life-changing income, okay? Because I don't do anything halfway. I want to come into a company, I want to make multiple sevens. If I don't think I can make seven figures in my first year, I don't even want to look at it, okay? See, with the sale, guys, you have everything you could possibly imagine, right? Timing. Now, I'm not talking about timing like most network marketing companies. You, this is the greatest time to be in this company. <laughs> no, I'm not talking, I'm talking real timing, right? What happened with the farm bill, what's going on in our nation and really in the world? This is the sexiest business model on the planet, okay? Getting people to see this opportunity is a joke. 
okay? You just have to go out there and go and put one foot in front of the other, and it stems from what we just hear, your, your belief system, your why, your goals. Why would I go and talk to everybody, Mario? Because your why is so big, right? You have to burn the ships. You have to make sure that you know exactly why you're doing this business. So timing is everything, guys, is everything. Positioning, guys, we, how many of you guys were here on Friday? Everybody was here on Friday? Yeah, some of you guys were okay. So you were all here before it happened. You guys understand that being positioned early and being at the right place at the right time is sometimes even better than being good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you guys understand? I know people who are just not good <laughs> in this industry. They make a lot of money. <laughs> It was like, I showed up at my buddy's house and he said, buy this juice, and I did, and checks kept coming for 20 years. <laughs> okay? That's a unicorn, guys. Timing, positioning. Right? The other thing is, is I don't really think, really think some of you understand um, what a blessing it is to have access to our leadership the way that we do. Yeah. Right? That's unbelievable. Right? So the, the, the Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award winner who's built two companies to a billion dollars. And, and they're on WhatsApp with you. <laughs> and Daniel calls my people without me even knowing, right? I mean, that is, uh, that's not fair. They have everything, right? If you've ever studied edification, usually the person you're working with is like the, the top guy in your seat. <laughs> We're working with the leaders of the entire company, every one of you guys have that access. That alone can make you a million dollars. Amen. Like, what, what products do you have? It doesn't matter. It's getting to person. <laughs> Who cares? Oh, but by the way, the products, who loves our products? <laughs> Again, another check. Another check. Right? We have everything. And then you have a disruptive product. Okay, I'm not talking just solid. I'm not talking just quality. I'm talking disruptive. You see, CBD all by itself is a game changer. Yes, but what we just learned yesterday yeah. makes us the best in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Best in the world. Yeah. And you can walk around, and if you've, maybe you've never been that confident in your life, have confidence in this, have confidence in these two. Have confidence in our leadership, have confidence in a track record, and walk accordingly. Yeah. So when I got started, it was because this is a unicorn. We have the ability to go out and help so many people. So many people. And, and, and so timing, positioning, access to the leadership and a disruptive product. That's all you need. So if you've ever been in other companies, and man, I've done everything. I've been in companies that I just was hitting the wall every single day. I just could not break through. I've been in companies where it went viral and I was like, what the heck is happening? That, that was me looking at my back office. What? Who are all these people? I didn't even know that was a country. <laughs> That's what you have here. Yeah. How do you know that? Bring it. Who wants their back office to go viral? Freedom guys is because for 11 years um, I worked in corporate and I got up at 7 a.m. and I came home at 7.30, 8 o'clock. Pulled my, my tie down, slouched on the couch and flipped the bills. Okay? But we, we had money, we had a huge home, five series BMW, golf and practice. But I didn't know what I didn't know. And one day they put me on the curb. And then I looked back and I realized I lost all kinds of time with my family. I lost precious time with my wife. My 20-year-old daughter, true story, God has repaired our relationship, but we didn't have the closest of relationships because I was not there. She had everything she wanted, but I was not there. So for me, when I tasted freedom, I wanted to do everything possible to do, that. I'll work 90 hours. <laughs> I don't think you can work 90 hours. Can you work 90 hours a week? Okay. Yep. okay. I'll work 90 hours. You don't have to be smart. 
<laughs> I'll work 90 hours, okay, to work on my time. Yeah. To be with my kids, yeah. to be with my wife, right? To help you be with your family. Yeah. So it's all about freedom. And, and I'm going to close with this because I want to make sure I stay on time. John 8, 36 says, Whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Right? But we still live like slaves. You know, I heard uh, this last Sunday at church, a pastor was saying, you know, people get saved and they don't find victory because they go back and they still have this slavery mindset. He said that when Abraham Lincoln, you know, wrote the Emancipation Proclamation and he freed everybody, the older generation went back to the plantations. You're free, but let's just go back. Some of you guys are walking around right now not knowing that you guys have freedom right here. Amen. But what's happening is you're still walking around like a slave. God did not get us here, bring us here, create us to be slaves. Amen. Okay? He wants you all to be free. Right? Free to do what you want to do. Free to do with, with who you want to do with. Free to bless other people. How many of you guys have ever heard, you know, uh, what's the old saying? Be, do, have. Right? Be the person that you need to be, and you know, do the things that you need to do to have what you want. But I always add the last one is give. Amen. Be, do, have, give. Be, do, have, give. Because when you get that miraculous formula down, God will keep pouring in. Because he goes, you know what? Mario gets it. It's not about having, it's about giving. It's about giving, right? We have to understand that this business can give you so many tools in life to help so many other people. So, why have a sale? It's a uniform. It's got everything. Everything. From the technology, this little bag, I posted this yesterday. I said, this thing right here, <laughs> this is going to change your life in so many ways and you have no idea. Yeah. Right? No idea. We have everything. So what, what do we have to do, guys? We have to talk to every single person that you've ever met in your entire life. That's what I did. Okay, we have 10 goals in our first 30 days, two platinums, okay? Most importantly, those folks, many, most of them have never been in network marketing. So don't think, well, Marta's been in networking for a long time. Yeah. I didn't bring any networking leaders. Bring it. Yeah. yeah. Okay? I just talked to regular people and I said, hey, what do you think about CD? So they came for CBD and then they're all in love with our product. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, it's a unicorn. Act accordingly. Go fight for your freedom. Don't wake up a slave anymore. Yeah. Okay? And if you can do that, put one foot in front of the other, follow these incredible leaders, the systems that they've put in front of you guys, and then wait until this, these amazing products get into the bodies of your friends and family. It's just, I love it. <laughs> Thank you guys. God bless you. I appreciate it. Thanks for